Hi, my name is Jason Chanko. I'm the Applications Marketing Manager for Signalant Technologies North America. Today's video, we're going to take a look at a 4-channel XE's new web control released June 2018. Uh, that includes a firmware revision and an operating system update. So we just go to SiglantAmerica.com and that's going to uh, provide us with a drop-down. We'll pick up the XE series and we'll hit this resource key that's going to take us down very quickly to our um, firmware link and now we can see the release notes for this particular update as well as the operating system and firmware so there are two updates that were required for this particular uh, this particular firmware upgrade um, the operating system upgrade is actually what's going to provide a little bit more speed uh, optimize optimization of that update rate uh, for that remote connection so this is for the LAN connection if we take an oscilloscope and connect it with a uh, an Ethernet cable to the uh, to the network and update the uh, firmware and operating system, this is the kind of update rate we're going to see. So the left is the laptop controlling the oscilloscope on the right. You can see it's pretty fast, uh, almost real time. So uh, what we're going to do, press. We want to check the IP address. So we go to utility and we go down arrow until we find the I/O entry. Press that soft key. And now we're going to take a look at the uh, the IP information and other information here. We have a DHCP connection, so we take down that IP address, and then we're going to go over to our browser. In this case, I'm just using Firefox, uh, but this is applicable to Microsoft Edge as well as um, Google Chrome. And in the uh, address bar, we're just going to type in that address of the oscilloscope. Once we've completed that, we hit enter. Now we have a. Now this is the web page that's hosted on the oscilloscope. Uh, it has some information about the oscilloscope, um, basically its IP address and its serial number. We can do some configuration on the LAN. Um, in many cases, that will break the connection that you currently have, so it's not uh, such a good idea all the time. Uh, here we have a line uh, line generator. We could test individual program lines or programmatically test each line, so we can send an identification query, for example, and send. Uh, but the real thing is the instrument control toolbox. And here we open it up, and we've got a full uh, full video representation of the oscilloscope. And we can go into full screen mode for presentations. Again, it's showing everything that's on the oscilloscope screen on the laptop screen or computer screen. Here we're going to open up that toolbar, and that gives us a virtual control panel for the oscilloscope. Again, the keys here match the keys, the soft keys on the front panel. We've got the menu on and off. Uh, we've got the other keys here. One way to enter, we can press the soft key once, and that'll open up the menu itself, for, or that menu for that particular entry. And if you continually press that button, it will increment or, or increment the value uh, for that particular selection. So we can just continue clicking. Another way is the intensity knob on the oscilloscope. This is actually a knob. Uh, in the case of the uh, virtual front panel, it's actually a counterclockwise, clockwise, and then push feature. Uh, so we've got to the right clockwise and counterclockwise. That will move the menu items to the right or to the left respectively and then the center key is going to actually act as pressing that. Some of the keys we can actually open up a menu that has numbers as well as units and again we can use that intensity knob to move around that keypad and enter in the particular values as well as the units for that particular uh, entry. And here we're just playing around, I believe, with the intensity of the display. So uh, with it, when you have a numeric entry, you can use that keypad. Uh, it's got all of the features of the oscilloscope. It's got the measure functions. Here we've got the measure menu. Uh, and again, we can use that intensity key uh, to help uh, move back and forth through that menu and select the proper measurements for our particular application. Uh, once we have all that set up, uh, we can press another key to uh, make that menu go away. And now we're all set. Uh, you can control each of the channels, you can control run stop, you can control the trigger menu uh, as we've shown here. So basically everything you have the ability to do on the front panel of the oscilloscope, only you can do it remotely uh, here through this web interface. And really the important thing here is how fast it's updating. Um, we can save bitmap or PNG images directly across the web. Uh, we can also save binary data in this case. We're working on a tool to uh, bring back CSV, but for tonight, for today, uh, we do have binary data transfer. So you can bring that data back across the USB and save it on the controlling computer. Uh, you can also update the oscilloscope remotely. So really uh, allowing you full access without installing any software, full access remotely to the oscilloscope. Uh, and this will also work over Wi-Fi using your phone. So quite a flexible, uh, flexible tool included with your X-E series.